Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to share seven of my top CF must-haves for articulation therapy. Are you ready? Let's go. I'm gonna start by giving you a list of the best things that you need that you can use for articulation therapy. Um, I have found that these things are pretty cheap, uh, extremely versatile, which means obviously you can use them in a ton of different ways, and they're super engaging. Um, the next thing I would like to say is that when I do my articulation sessions, I try to break things up into like gross motor time and fine motor time. Um, this helps my kids to stay a little bit more engaged and interested in what we're doing than if we just try to do either a worksheet activity the whole time or we just do one activity. Okay, first item on my CF must have articulation therapy items are these little boogers called squigs. They are super fun and they have these little suction things on the end. So they will stick to your whiteboard, they stick to desks, they stick under desks. They're super fun to hide and find and with a little bit of creativity I have already thought of like hundreds of activities that you can do with them. Um, so we like to hide them around the room um, or we smash them onto our picture cards. A bunch of different ways that you can use those fun little squigs. Okay, item number two, tongs and mini erasers. Uh, the mini erasers you can get at Target and the dollar spot and the tongs you can get on Amazon. Um, again, you can do, you know, we like to pick these up and we like to stack them on our articulation cards or um, we will sort them into buckets or into sounds of, you know, if I say my target word is red, if I say red and it sounds good, maybe I'll put an eraser into the green bucket. But if I say wed and it doesn't sound great, then I will put it into the red bucket, which is our needs improvement bucket. And if you really wanna get fancy, I'll do three. And if it's kind of in the middle, like a red, then we put it in the yellow bucket. Okay, item number three is Jenga. I love Jenga. It's a super fun game that is also, can not just be used for the traditional purpose of playing Jenga. Um, it's also really fun to stack the blocks on top of each other and you can use them to build things. So we might build a tower and each time we say a word we put on a block. So we might say red, red, red. I am building a tower. You can't see it very good. Red. And each time we say a word we put a block on the tower. Then we take the tower apart saying our words again. Um, we can also hide the blocks. As you can see I've written on some of these. I don't really recommend it. I did that my first year and it wasn't the best plan, uh, but you can if you wanted to. <laughs> so that is number three. All right, item number four is going to be poppers. Again, you can find these on Amazon. Um, we like to line pictures up on the whiteboard, or we will even line targets up on the whiteboard, um, or you know, we might write some numbers on the board, whichever number you shoot, that's how many times you have to say your word. Um, really, these little guys are just super fun pop and to push. Okay, item number five is gonna be one of these balls and the Velcro things, and we just play catch with it. Um, I throw it, you say a word, however many times you throw it back, we get to catch it. Uh, this one really doesn't work that great because it's a dog toy. <laughs> um, I lost the original ball. No, my dog ate the original ball that went with this. So kids still think it's um, a lot of fun and we just throw it back and forth for maybe five or ten minutes you would be surprised at how many repetitions you can get by just throwing a ball kicking a ball um, anything that has kids up and moving and they don't realize that they're practicing a hundred words in a session super awesome okay item number six is these super these aren't even super duper uh, these super cool magnet wands that have the little disc things and these little ball things that stick to them. So just the little stick magnets. I found these on Amazon for like maybe 12 or $16. Um, everything I'm using today, I probably bought on Amazon, if you're curious. Um, again, kids seem to find these super fun and engaging. And um, again, it won't last you a 30 minute session, but you might get a good 10 or 15 minutes out of, you know, putting the dots on your word and um, sucking them up, magneting them up. <laughs> And um, 
you can use it for all kinds of all kinds of things I promise so these are number six okay you're gonna walk with me for a second for number seven because it's my basketball goal womp womp um, so number seven is my basketball goal again for the same reason that the ball is really cool and awesome the little velcro ball it we do the same thing you say a word you throw a basket um, we can do that a bunch of times or you say your word five times and then we throw a basket or if you miss it you have to throw it so many times um, countless maybe not countless ways that you can use a basketball goal but it is very motivating and rewarding and even if you're bored of playing basketball for the millionth time your kids will not be so again you can get one on Amazon they're not that expensive and it will keep your kids up and moving which means they will be happy okay so I was only gonna give you seven but I thought of a couple more that I'll just throw on at the end and if you're interested great if you're not whatever take it or leave it this is a free video for you so um, I also highly recommend always keeping a stash of play-doh I feel like that's kind of a no-brainer um, post-it notes always tape is another good one like the blue painters tape is also really great to have on hand um, I also love to keep a stash of fun dip and dum-dums in my room these are great tactile reinforcers if you've not heard of these or maybe you've just forgotten <laughs> that your grad school teacher recommended using these I always just keep them in a tub in my cabinet over there um, to you know show tactile placement and um, do that in the beginning stages of teaching um, tongue placement for articulation therapy while I'm using those I also use my jumbo mighty mouth um, this is the super duper version which is maybe like 40 45 dollars um, so if your school or wherever you're doesn't have one I would recommend getting one and um, always have a good supply a stash of school supplies so glue sticks scissors crayons um, all of those are going to be super helpful to always have on hand and make sure you have a dice sorry forgot to mention that one too okay I think that's all of them okay there you go guys those are my CF must-have items for articulation therapy um, if you found this video helpful I really would appreciate it if you just would like the video and subscribe to my channel uh, this just tells YouTube that hey this content might be helpful for somebody else and I think you should share it so if you could do that for me I would appreciate it I will keep working on some new content for you and I hope you have a great day